Uh, President Trump uh, was in the headlines for all the wrong reasons last week. He invited over Kanye West, a one anti-Semite, and then uh, Kanye West then invited over his own anti-Semites. We had dinner with two of them. What happened here? How did this turn into such a fiasco? So an easy way to not be saddled with the anti-Semite you don't know is to not invite the anti-Semite who you do know. Obviously, Kanye West has had a long storied history of bipolar disorder. This has now taken the form of him blaming, quote, the Jews for everything wrong in his life. And now he's befriended quite unsavory figures like Nick Fuentes. Nick Fuentes, if you don't know him, is a very prominent alt-right figure who has denied the Holocaust, hates women, has some choice quotes like here. What, people calling me gay because I've never had a girlfriend? I think if anything, if anything, it makes me less gay. That actually makes me really more heterosexual than anybody. If, if we're being, if we're really being honest, never having a girlfriend, never having sex with a woman, really makes you more heterosexual. Because honestly, dating women is gay. Having sex with women is gay. And having sex with men is gay. And, and you know, it's really, it's all gay. And if you want to know the truth, the only really straight heterosexual position is to be an asexual incel. So Donald Trump has just claimed, he hasn't actually denounced Fuentes. The closest denunciation we get from him is his comment to Fox News where he says, I had no ideas what his views were and they weren't expressed at the table in our very quick dinner or it wouldn't have been accepted. He had much more negative to say about Mitch McConnell, who has been very vociferous in his condemnation of Nick Fuentes' views. And here's the issue for Trump politically. It's not that Trump has never hung out with unsavory figures in the past. It's that he got conned. It's that it's a microcosm of what a second term would look like. The fact that his staff is either incompetent or he is unwilling to have the necessary gatekeeping measures around him that anyone who has access to top secret security clearances, top secret information needs to have. The fact that Nick Fuentes, who's a recognizable enough, you know, white supremacist alt-right figure that you or I would be able to recognize him if he tried to, say, get into CPAC, which he's been banned from. That's how egregious he is. The fact that he's able just to come into Mar-a-Lago, Trump has a conversation with him, and clearly that was the intent because that is what Fuentes has said. Fuentes has said that he wanted attention and that Kanye wanted attention and that they knew that this would get news. So yeah, it's a moral error, but I think we already know who Trump's character is. The real issue for him is it makes him look stupid. Right, I mean, I think that's the worst part here is that he got played, like you said. I mean, they came in and then they didn't even endorse him. They, after the meeting, you know, said, we do not think you should run for president. You should instead be Kanye West's running mate. So he didn't even get positive press out of it because the, instead of, you know, praising Trump and bringing him into their movement, he said, no, 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 Trump, you should follow us. So he looks like a follower here and it looks like he had got totally played by these two guys.